indoor skydiving. My <laughs> extensions got tangled. Never again. <laughs> hey, I'm Dua Lipa, and today I'm gonna find out how much I know about myself based on astrology. And I'm about to be read for Phil by the Astro Twins. <laughs> <laughs> So we are gonna walk you through your birth chart. So do I, you're a Leo, you are a fire sign, passionate, that's the essence of who you are. But your rising sign is Gemini, which makes you a bit more analytical, mm. more willing to share the spotlight than most Leos, very collaborative. And then your moon is in Cancer. So in comes this like sensitive, private, emotional <laughs> self. So you have this range that you inhabit and are able to tap into as tools for yourself when you need. I like that. Mm -hmm. Does that okay. cancer moon just drive you crazy that's sometimes? It, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's definitely my big emotional side. Do you follow the moon, like the new moon? The I do follow moon? the moon. Probably do your best yeah. creative work then. Yeah, there's a lot of adrenaline at that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like, go, 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 go. Well, it's kind of a secret nerd, right? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Massive bookworm. For yeah, sure. <laughs> and your Mercury in Virgo. You think about things in a very systematic way, don't you? Yeah, I'm a planner for sure. Mm. <laughs> Which is not very Leo. No. But I'm also Leo Virgo cusp. Like, I'm one yeah. day before. Yeah, you're turning that very into a Virgo. last bit right? of Leo, yeah. but you're still a Leo. Yeah. And you know you're in your Saturn return now. Oh, yeah. I mean, you probably <laughs> got a lot of foreboding news about that. <laughs> but the Saturn return could be one of the most amazing times. Yeah. It really is when you come into your own. Are you feeling like, I okay, feel like life I'm, is starting to make more sense 1000%. I feel like I'm being propelled into a completely new part of my life. Yeah. 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 See how much of a Leo Leo you are. <laughs> So Dua, when it comes to attention, you are A, avoiding it at all costs, B, equally giving and receiving it, or C, the center of it. Uh, I think B. Equally ding, 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 that's right. Giving and receiving. Sometimes when I'm on stage or I'm performing or I'm in, you know, a certain version of myself, I enjoy the attention, of course, because I'm there presenting myself in that, in that way. But I think in my everyday life, it's a very big push and pull. Yeah, that's something Leos get a bad rap and are yeah. like, oh, they're spotlight hogs, but they're really <laughs> generous and big hearted, at least the good ones like you. <laughs> I was very much the kid that when my parents would have friends around, they'd be like, I'm gonna put on a show and everyone has to watch me. And they would drive them mad, but oh, definitely. Man. Now they're trying to get tickets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Question two. On vacation, we can find you A, asleep, B, on the dance floor with the locals, or C, brainstorming by the pool. Dancing with the locals. Okay. <laughs> well, we had C for you, but... Brainstorming by the pool. Yeah. That is, I was stuck between B and C. There's a big part of me that just loves to go out and experience a place, but then I do so much of my thinking and my writing and stuff in my... Downtown. These are all kind of the, your big it's three. Your, it's your chart. That's right. your chart. Yeah. Like, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. I it's think like it's I like resonate with the yeah. you know? Your biggest fear is being ordinary, A. B, heights, C, heartbreak. I have being ordinary. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's, that's right. percent Leo there. I feel that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. You will always prioritize A, a good time, B, perfecting your work, or C, rest? Oh my God, it's definitely not C, that's for sure. <laughs> no. B, perfecting my work, so C, then yes. I can do A. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is enjoying every moment. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's always about perfecting the work first. Like my dad always had this saying, never leave today's job for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And it's something that's lived with me. Like I always make sure that I finish everything that I have to do so that I can chill. Do you um, wake up like ding, ready to go? Yeah, pretty much. I'm yeah. not a snoozer no. yeah. at all. <laughs> like I hate the snooze button. I'm very much like alarm off, out of bed. Wake up, work out, shower, get ready, go to work. You know, whatever it is, it's all down to the to the minute. I'm a pretty... Gemini rising can be very nervous and analytical. It needs needs to know and, what's happening. Otherwise, you yeah. start to spin, right? No, like, it's the control. What's next? What's next? What's <laughs> next? Sure. Yeah. If you weren't a performer, Dua, you would be a, a fitness instructor, B, a life coach, or C, a famous author. God, I don't know. Uh, 
maybe an author? A Gemini author. rising. I mean, I like, like to write, yeah, so I think yeah. that's that's probably the closest to, to songwriting I could get. One of the things your chart shows is that you really have a strong destiny to be some sort of a community organizer, a teacher, a trainer, where it's wow. not enough for you to just go out and do it all for yourself. You want to share it and bring people along. I like to do things together. Like I also feel like things are way bigger than just me. You're yeah. like an un-Leo Leo in a lot of ways. <laughs> There's sometimes some Leos that I'm like, I'm just not like that. Exactly. It's very different. Your go-to movie genre is a chilling horror film, A, B, heightened drama, or C, a classic romantic comedy? Uh, I think a heightened drama okay. is me, or even a classic rom-com. Like, I'm such a sucker for a rom-com, but I don't know. Okay, well, that's the one, C. So. The rom-com? Yeah. Well, actually, my favorite film is Notting Hill, but okay. nothing rocks me like a good drama. A Leo's ideal first date is A, something adventurous, B, dinner and drinks, or C, a walk in the park. Oh, my ideal first date, a walk in the park. A walk in the park, okay. Yeah. Well, that's not very Leo of you, but it's something <laughs> That is my ideal. What's the worst first date you've ever been on? <laughs> <laughs> Indoor skydiving. Oh, Ooh. horrible. <laughs> my extensions got tangled. I was not having fun. Never again, <laughs> off the bucket list, <laughs> done, bye. Yeah. A shark is approaching. Mm. You, A, swim away at the speed of light. B, summon your animal instincts to let it know you're the boss. Or C, freeze and hope for the best. Summon your animal instincts yep. and let them know you're the boss. Yep, <laughs> ding, ding, Classic ding. Leo. So what inspired your album cover, speaking of sharks? The feeling of the juxtaposition of danger and calm and those two kind of worlds colliding in the album cover. I'm very peaceful in the moment. I feel like that essence gives me so much radical optimism in the sense of everything's gonna work out and it's gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm not gonna get eaten by the shark. Right. That's very right. fitting for Saturn return in Pisces. Yeah. It's yeah. the sign the of the thing. fish and I'm the deep ocean, it. right? I'm Saturn is it. the boss. Yeah, I'm yeah. feeling it. Yeah. A city that's not home but feels like it is A, Mexico City, B, Paris, or C, New York? Oh, that's really hard. Um, gosh, I don't know, like all of them. I've said that I could so easily live in Mexico City. I love it there so much. It's my favorite like food city in the world. Paris, I have a lot of friends. Again, a great food and wine place. Like that's a good time. And New York is just busy and bustling and it's hard to choose. I have no idea. Well, we picked Mexico City. Okay, that was my yeah. first instinct. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have Jupiter, the traveler in Sagittarius, the yeah. sign of travel. So you are a world citizen. Mexico City, I knew yeah. it. There's something magical there mm -hmm. for me. 